Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about uh, the alphabetic word product problem, okay, in MATLAB. So what is the problem statement? Let us try to understand first. So the problem statement says, if the input string S, that may be some other variable also, just uh, in the question it is given like S. So if the input string S is a word like hello, then the output word product C is the number based on the correspondence uh, A equal to 1, B equal to 2, dot dot, so on, J equal to 26, okay. Like that you have to multiply them and you have to give the output. So let us understand in some more detail. See something more is written in the information question. There is assume that the input will be a single word, although it may be mixed case. Okay, that may be capital and small also, small letter also. Note that capital A equal to small A equal to 1 and capital B equal to small B equal to 2. Like that it will go on. Like capital J equal to small J equal to 26. Okay. So for example, suppose A is equal to H E L L O, then A H corresponds to 8. If you write a small a equal to 1, small b equal to 2, small c equal to 3, like that, you will get h equal to 8, small e equal to 5, small l, small l, both are 12, and o is 15, multiply them, your output will be 86,400. That's what we have to write the code, okay? Now, step by step, we will go. First step is how we can assign this kind of values that is small a equal to capital a equal to 1 then small b equal to capital b equal to 2 and so on that's what we should understand right so let us uh, directly go to matlab and let us try to understand how we can do that so see i am now working in command window so see small a already you might know that the ascii integer value corresponding to small a is nothing but 97 let us check See, answer is equal to A. And then if you convert, so double of N, you will get 97. Okay. But this small A, what we should get as 1. Okay. Then small B as 2 like that. So if we subtract the value 1 from the integer value of uh, small A, we will get 1. Right. Let me show you. So see, let me clear this first. So what I want to say, like, double of small a that is 97 minus 1 is what 96 okay now see but we require 1 corresponding to a we require value 1 so we will subtract 96 and let us check see 1 okay so double of a minus 96 will return me one value which is corresponding to small a in our question like that if you write double of small b minus 96 only see you will get 2 that is small b corresponding to 2 now suppose let me write small c minus 96 we are getting 3 now let me take h which is getting 8 okay see in the problem statement also h was corresponding to value 8 okay so well up to this we solved one problem similarly we require for upper case also because in the problem it is mentioned that assume input uh, will be single word although it may be mixed case that may be upper or lower case both okay so as you know the capital a is uh, like uh, if i convert into double it will you will get what 65 right so 65 again if i want to get one as integer corresponding to capital a we can write like this double of capital A minus of 64 okay 65 is our value if we subtract 64 we will get 1 so 1 similarly double of capital B minus 64 we should get 2 see 2 like that we are getting so this problem is resolved now one more thing left how we can extract each character from a string very simple just same method what we follow in Java like let me write hello okay now w of 1 if i write c h w of 2 if i write e second character is e w of 3 if i write l okay w of 4 if i write l and w of 5 if i write o hello o last is o okay so all right up to this also we have understood now let us directly go to the problem and let us try to write the code so first thing first, let us try to take input from the user. So input 
enter the string okay that may be in upper case or lower case now product we have to store right so consecutive if i want to do repeated product then we have to define c as 1 if we want to do repeated addition we have to define c equal to 0 this much basic thing i hope by this time you know okay if you don't know please go to the basic concepts of uh, programming whatever the language may be java c c plus plus python matlab whatever and try to understand those then solve these kind of problems okay because these are uh, for this for solving this kind of problem you require at least some basic knowledge in programming all right now what we will do we will extract each and every character like see hello h is taken and it is converted into integer then e is taken like that so we will extract so for i equal to one colon length of x we are uh, taking one for loop starting from index one to at the end of the uh, string then g equal to x of i so we are taking our character in g variable now we have to assign the values suppose g is equal to small a then we should multiply one with c if g equal to small b then we should multiply two with g like that it will go right so what we can do if uh, double of g greater than equal to 97 and and double of g less than equal to uh, small z corresponding to what value let me just uh, cross verify once probably 122 uh, d o u b l e double of small z is sorry 122 yeah so 122 what it will do it will check whether g is small letter or capital letter so 97 to 122 comes under small letter right so if this happens c equal to c star what i have told you we have to multiply corresponding integer for small case i told you double of uh, that character minus 96 so double of g minus 96 and else that is for capital letter simply you can write c equal to c star what i told you that double of g minus of 64 right i already in the beginning of the algorithm itself i told you in this uh, if else in this for loop and display our output which is stored in c okay if you want you can write here clc clear all close all okay fine let us check enter this string a g l l o hello see 86400 okay whether it is matching yes 86400 all right now let me take another one so let me take uh, suppose fantastic fantastic see this one seven two three six eight zero zero we are getting okay and let us take one more suppose attitude okay so thirty thousand uh, sorry uh, this three zero two four zero 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 we are getting okay so basically this is what about this code okay now let me just show you one thing that c equal to 0 suppose you want to add these things okay corresponding each letter if you want to add then just this much change you do and evaluate selection so attitude let me take c 100 okay you can take any other uh, string also according to your choice suppose love 54 okay then uh, suppose respect okay 86 but see no one is getting 100 value but attitude if you write you will get exactly 100 okay so basically for 100 percent you require positive attitude okay this is one of the most important factor obviously in interview also the interviewer or hr will check your positive attitude okay in something that this much at least i can say from my interview experience anyway anyway so basically this is the code how you can perform this particular uh, problem 
which is basically alphabetic word product and i have also shown you how to do problem for alphabetic word addition okay just you have to replace the multiplication symbol with the addition okay that's all so i will post the same code in the comment section because i cannot post the code in the description because here i have used angle brackets and angle brackets are not allowed in description okay so you just go through the comment section i will post the two codes okay i hope you have understood this try to understand the algorithm because if you are able to understand the algorithm you can implement same program in java or c or c++ or python or whatever your favorite favorable language is okay thank you for watching and for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering and programming please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon okay thank you